time trial we have here in Greenville is very non-traditional, especially for the United States. Normally we have very flat, straight, out and back type time trial courses. Uh, this is more of a European style circuit. A lot of turns, we actually do multiple laps here, which we can do, we can do thanks to the number of athletes we have and the quality of the field. Uh, makes it much more exciting for the fans and it's interesting for the athletes because they they really know where they stand throughout the event as they come through. They get a split on the people in front and behind, which is pretty unique. Well, you know, this is a longer time trial. It's a 20 mile time trial, so it's gonna be about 40, 40 some minutes, which is a fairly long effort, somewhat painful, can get painful at the end. It's actually pretty tough. There's no, really no flat part. It's either up or down, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, it's a lot of um, changing the gears, getting out of the saddle a couple times. Pressure comes from, comes from within myself and you know, every, people around me are, you know, they can try to put pressure on me, but at the end of the day, it's, it's all down to, to how I feel. And If you win the National Time Trial Championships, you get to wear the Stars and Stripes for, a, for an entire year and, and all the time trials you do. And, um, you know, I've had my fair share of success in the time trials over the years, so I think it would be, you know, I'd be honored and, and uh, really happy to be able to wear it for, for the next year, 2011. I mean, I'm just going to give it out there, go out there and give it everything I have, and that's really all that, all that matters in time trialing is if you leave nothing on the table by the, by the time you cross the finish line. Welcome to the USA Cycling 2010 Professional Time Trial Championship as we watch Peter Stetna, a young rider from Boulder, Colorado, having his bike checked here, making sure that he's uh, met all of the requirements with the dimensions of the bike and the weight of the bicycle as well. As That will be Carter Jones, another young rider from the same town, Boulder, uh, having his bike weighed there. And that's the final part of the checks that the riders go through. All systems go for Jones. Jeremy Powers, rider out of Connecticut, is a, another man who's had some great rides here. That's Reed Mumford of the Kelly Benefit Strategies. Uh, as everyone goes through that process before they make it to this point. The start line and the first of three laps begins there. It is 21 total miles of racing. Just a few meters shy of that, but Carter Jones, our first rider out on course. Paul Mock, rider out of Davis, California on the Bissell team. A huge engine and, and actually an amazing story is a very well-rounded Paul Mock. has already been on the podium as uh, at one point the Amgen Tour of California King of the Mountain leader, Matt Boucher, the breakthrough rider for 2009, continues to impress. As we take a look here now uh, at the finish line, the first time the riders are coming through, Adrian Hegeveri is a rider who's an interesting story, is a multiple-time national champion in Hungary and the United States as he's now locked in in our professional championship as Bernard Van Alden takes the start, the Jelly Belly rider, that great sponsor. And Bernard uh, has been on the podium before. He knows what it takes on this exact course as this is just on 42-14 there, a fast early mark as we take a look at Taylor Finney who will be not our final rider to start but next to last as we get down to the final rider, Levi Leipheimer here in just a moment, but you can see the same checks that the riders had earlier being made for our last few riders as well. Taylor Finney on uh, right now an amazing, amazing career at 20 years old, already four-time world champion, including the junior world champion in this discipline, the time trial. Levi Leipheimer, a man who certainly needs no introduction. The Radio Shack rider's been on the top step of the podium at the Tour de France in the time trial, stage 19, just a few years ago. He's also uh, been on the podium 
at the Olympic Games, bronze medal winner. This really is the new guard and the old guard. And we'll see if there's going to be a changing or not here today as a amped up Taylor Finney certainly had the crowd in the palm of his hand. As at 20 years old, Taylor Finney contesting for the first time the U.S. Professional Championship. USA Cycling has done a tremendous job of developing young riders. Taylor right now is at the front end of a new wave. Dave Zabriskie, who is not here to defend, as he is contesting the Welta Espana, actually dropping out but won't be able to race here, has never lost in Greenville. So we'll have a new champion for the first time, Levi Leipheimer. Well, I should say first time this year outside of Dave Zabriskie and obviously a four-star favorite. Levi Leipheimer is underway. He will have the time marks. We'll see if he has the time marks. No radios this year. So Levi working without the radio, no one had a radio. So the time checks that would be so valuable, we'll see if that's going to come into play because Taylor Finney right now is crushing it. And obviously the crowd roars as Finney comes through. And that is our new fast time. We have a new leader here with only one rider left out on course, that being Levi Leipheimer. We're picking up Leipheimer right now with the accelerator down on the floorboard. Leipheimer will realize it is going to be very close. He might not realize exactly how close. And as he flashes up to the finish area, it is obviously going to come down to tenths of a second. The crowd on the absolute edge of their seats will look back, and it is confirmed for Finney his first ever U.S. Professional Championship as Levi Leipheimer gives up .14 of a second after 21 miles of racing. This is the new boss. Four times, well, he talked about pressure at the start of the race, and that man certainly has shoulders like Atlas, says he gives a hug to Ben King, his teammate uh, on the Trek Livestrong team, as those two take on the world here in Greenville. Well, Jelly Belly, great job by this team. Two riders in the top five with Carter Jones up there and his teammate Bernard Van Alden will take the bronze medal presented by Sean Petty, the COO of USA Cycling. Levi Leipheimer, obviously disappointed. What a true champion this American Olympian is. And Le Levi will accept the silver medal here today. And that leaves the top step of the podium for our four-time world champion, first time ever as USA Cycling's professional time trial champion, Taylor Fitz. Vinny. What a day it was for Taylor, and he'll make his way up onto the top step as a huge crowd turning out here in Greenville. And the Stars and Stripes jersey that is awarded along with the gold medal as Taylor up on the top step. And let's go ahead and grab a word with Taylor Finney as the young man from Boulder, Colorado, really put on a show. It's pretty special, man. You know, it's my first elite national championships, and uh, to come out here and get the win, especially by such a small margin you know it just makes things more exciting and uh yeah i'm, I'm so happy I, this is way more than i could ask for and uh i've had a great season so far so this is a really really solid end the season's almost over i head to the world championships in a week and a half and so this is a good uh good sign for for the next couple of weeks and i'm happy man i get to wear this jersey for a whole year now and that means a lot to me when we return, we'll hear from local leaders as they discuss the significance of these events for the Greenville community and local charities.